continued support so that they may know that they are being appreciated. You cannot pick up a newspaper any day without seeing something that the EFCC has achieved in terms of charges before courts, in terms of forfeiture of assets. The EFCC, on its part, believes that the conviction of hundreds of first stars and looters this year alone is the result of effective collaboration with other agencies and public support. We we'll continue to do the right thing. Believe me, we we'll continue to we we'll chase them out. We we'll kill corruption. Yes, sir. that was the mandate they gave us. The president said, "Kill corruption, or corruption will kill Nigeria." Yes, sir. that is exactly what we are going to do. As part of efforts aimed at deepening the two agencies, collaboration towards fighting economic crimes, a joint platform for intelligence sharing would soon be established by the two bodies. Let's go to Edo State, where the government empowers more women with poultry products. Agatha will give us details on that and more reports. Hello, Agatha. Bruce, good evening and a warm welcome to Benin. Edo State government has empowered women farmers in the state with birds and poultry materials. It is in line with government's drive to ensure food security. Good Luck in Nine reports that wife of the governor, Betsy Obaseki, wants beneficiaries to maximize the opportunity. Women for Agriculture and Enterprise program commenced in 2017 with 500 widows engaged in poultry farming, who then were given Noila, a crossbreed of local umbrella beds, to take off. Then, the wife of the governor promised to scale up the program across the 18 local government areas. Ubiaza, in Kobaoka local government area, is among the 20 mother units in the state designated for women to collect their beds. Wife of the state governor, Bessie Obaseki, urged the beneficiaries to be connected to the cause. Because the whole idea, I want to see when a woman starts with 20 chicken, then one day, when I get 1,000, 2,000. 3, so the beneficiaries are expected to plow the capital into purchasing more birds and growing their businesses. We promise you, say we go train and wear, train and wear, go cut brief profit for us, we'll take and train our children. Mr. Obaseki is optimistic that the initiative will help provide solution to unemployment, women empowerment, and health nutrition in line with the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. In Benin, good luck in any NT News. The NTA is a public interest institution and is customarily noted for contributing to the happiness of its host communities. It regularly celebrates and brings joy to children during Christmas. Now the NTA Benin Network Center organized a party for school aged children and it was fun and merriment in the spirit of the youth tide. The NTA corporate complex came alive as pupils from different schools converged to have fun. The event, attended by over 2,000 students from various schools in the state, was sponsored by individuals and corporate organizations. The Zona director, Pauline Igbano, remarked that the Benin Network Center is socially responsible and is concerned to create the ambience in which children can grow and mature in true happiness. Christmas defies peace on earth. It means goodwill to all men. It's a, it's a reflection of our lives particularly our past year, and I think the one that is most significant to me is hope. We are hopeful that we are going to have a better country and a better Edo state. Chairman on the occasion, Kenneth Imaswagbon, urged the children to cultivate the habit of kindness and sharing. The best you can give is to show good example and teach these children the good way to go. That is what NTA Benin have done today. Anything anybody tells you in the secret, if he said 
don't tell your mommy or tell your daddy, know that that thing is bad. Don't do it. The children were all in jubilant mood as they went home, each clutching a pack of presents. I'm happy to be here. I thank you all for organizing this big party for our school. Today was fun and it was enjoyable. The 2019 Christmas Fiesta for Children is a prelude to Santa's visitation to schools. Christmas Carol is scheduled to hold on the 19th of December. You're watching Nationwide on the network service of the NTA. We'll now take a break. The news continues shortly in Abuja. Stay tuned. The new edition of TV Guide is out exclusively taking a look at the traditional television and new media. Are they comparable or complementary? Media industry players give perspective on the trends, progress, challenges and the way forward. Find out on this compelling edition of TV Guide. Expository interviews with stars of the team within our space. Becky Madogemo of NTA, Tibel Moray of AIT, Nifemi Oguntai of TVC and a host of others. TV Guide, your indispensable companion, also feature Ya Medina. A TV drama series on NTA. Let's get to meet the characters behind Yamadina. This edition also presents exciting features on tourism, culture, entertainment, sports, health, and lots more. Grab a copy at the vendors near you or any NTA station nationwide. TV Guide, your indispensable companion. The Nigerian Film Corporation Annual Film Lecture during the 10th Zuma Film Festival is here. Guest lecturer, Professor Umar Garbadambata, Executive Vice Chairman, Nigerian Communications Commission. Topic, the creative economic imperatives of national data theory policy on content distribution under the distinguished chairmanship of Alhaji Yakubi Ibn Muhammad, DG Nigerian Television Authority. Special guest of honor, Alhaji Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information and Culture, guest of honor, Injid Abubakar Umar Gambo, Board Chairman Nigerian Film Corporation. Date, Monday, December 2nd, 2019. Time, 10 a.m. Venue, NAF Conference Center, Abuja. Attendance is free. Host, Dr. Chidia Madweke, Managing Director, Nigerian Film Corporation. For inquiries, call us on 0803-674-0997. Nigerian Film Corporation. Power possibilities. Witness the commencement of the most stimulating and compelling contest on television. This contest is only for the strong, the intelligent, and the talented. Get ready for the Unity Challenge reality TV show. Coming soon. years of travel and counting. 20 years of promoting tourism in Africa and diaspora. Over 3 million kilometers traveled. Over 30 African countries visited. Explored the diaspora in four continents. Connected over 100,000 happy tourists to Africa. Reached over 50 million homes. Igniting smiles across Africa and beyond. As Gogi Africa turns 20, we thank you and invite you to join us in the quest for 20 must-visit destinations in partnership with the largest TV network in Africa, the NDA. Ministry of Information and Culture, Ministry of Transportation, Lagos State Government, Kana, 
Delta Airlines, Royal Caribbean, Tour Brokers International. You too can still be a partner. Call the numbers on your screen or info at gogeafrica.tv. Goge Africa, celebrating two decades of heritage, travel and tourism. Thanks for staying with us. And right now, let's head to Medigori to join Abu Bakr for more reports on Nationwide. Hello, Abu Bakr. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Ruth. And thank you for joining us in Medigori. But no state government has approved with immediate effect the sales of government's own housing estates within Medigori, the state capital, on owner-occupier basis, in line with the present administration's policy of providing affordable houses to the citizenry. Governor Babagana Umara announced this while inaugurating a high part committee for construction of 500 units housing estate in Medigori under the chairmanship of the state Deputy Governor Omar Usman Kadafur. Here is Mohammed Goni with more details of the story. The government's estate affected by the approval for owner occupier sales includes 202, 303, 505, and 1000 housing estates constructed by the previous administration in the state and allocated to individuals. The inauguration of the 19 member committee for construction of 500 housing estates is in line with the cardinal principle of the present administration of providing comfortable and affordable houses to the citizenry. Terms of reference of the committee include determining the location of projects, ascertaining the scope of work, designing the concept of the project, determining proper planning, monitoring, and evaluation, among others. Governor Babagana Umara said, Teachers Village, 400 housing estates along Gubio and Dambua Road, 350 housing estates along Dikwa Road, as well as 200 housing estates along Bama Road, which have all reached 80% completion and are currently occupied by IDPs will be completed as soon as resettlement issues are over. He added that his administration is exploring public-private partnership arrangement to complement government's effort. We made all arrangements with the family homes in Nigeria for the take up of the 1,700 urban housing and 3,200 rural housing in the state. While urging the committee to work assiduously to ensure quality work, the governor restated commitment of his administration to reconstruction and resettlement of all destroyed communities to facilitate safe and voluntary return of IDPs to begin a new life in Maiduguri, Mamotkoni, and Tienus. Baro State Government has indicated plans to establish a center for de-radicalization to complement efforts of the federal government on youth de-radicalization for peace to take root. The Deputy Governor, Umar Usman Kadafur, stated this when he received the President of Methodist Church of Nigeria, Dr. Samuel Emeka Kanu Uchi, on a walking visit to Borno State. General Janjesni will now tell us more. Omar Usman Kadafur said the state government will establish a center for deradicalization to complement the efforts of the federal government on deradicalization process in the state. The deputy governor said Borno state government has a good, harmonious relationship with the Christian community, stressing that most families in the southern part of the state have Muslims and Christians living together peacefully. He said the state government will not relent in its efforts until it ensures that all Boko Haram captives are rescued, IDPs return to their communities, as well as a total return of peace in the state. Umar Usman Kadafu therefore appealed to members of the church to continue to pray for the return of lasting peace in the state and the country generally. I know for the involvement of people like you in the prayers, for God will answer our prayer. President of the Methodist Church, His Eminence Dr. Samuel Emmanuel Kanu Uche, said they are in the state as part of their routine visit to their brothers and sisters and to pray for peace. The President of the Methodist Church requested the federal government and the Northeast region to resolve the issues of Boko Haram crisis through dialogue and amnesty, as in the case of Niger Delta militants. Dr. Samuel Emeka Kanu Uche explained that the fire for fire is not a solution to the crisis of such nature, but expressed hope that with the amnesty program in place, all Boko Haram insurgents will surrender. In Meduguri, Chedwa Junjesi, NTA News. And that's our contribution from Meduguri. Let's now return to Ruth in Abuja for more reports on Nationwide. Good afternoon to you. Thanks, Abu Bakr, and welcome back to Abuja. Open defecation is seen as a threat to human health. To address this menace by supporting government's efforts to end open defecation, number two initiative for a healthy environment, a non-governmental organization took the sensitization campaign to Jiwa community of the Federal Capital Territory. Mariam George Jitabo has the details. 
As a fast-growing city, Abuja has witnessed influx of people from far and near. Hence, the issue of toilets or convenience seems to be a challenge in some parts of the city centre and the rural dwellings. This has resulted to open defecation as the only option for most residents. In commemoration of World Toilet Day, number two initiative for a healthy environment took a walk of shame round Jua community to enlighten the residents on the need to put a stop to such acts. Jua community is one of the communities here in Abuja that um, are engaged in this um, EO act. So we came here to... Um, campaign against it. Anything that you do and you have involved the community from its inception is going to get acceptability by the community. I'm a chairman Abdullah Adamukandidu and the chief of Jiwa Idris Musa said the event will enhance environmental sanitation and hygiene. But, uh, open defecation uh, for now shouldn't be the way because, uh, one, it has a lot of consequences. After defecating openly, one rain falls, it back most of these waters to our source of water supply. It causes most of the water wash diseases. There was a general consensus that, with the cooperation of all and sundry, open defecation will be eliminated to the barest minimum. Mariam George, Jitubo, NTA News. Let's talk agri. Employing the KB State Experience can be the best way of tackling food insecurity in Nigeria and making agriculture a business as the best way to encourage youth to take up career in farming. Now this comes to the fore at the KB Agriculture Award and Book Presentation titled Bridge Across New KB in Abuja, Hamman Jabani will tell us more. Agri-business is the science and practice of activities with linkage to production, processing, marketing, Trade, distribution of raw and processed food, feed fabric, including the supply of inputs and services. And this is the kind of agricultural revolution carried out by KB State through its partnership with Lagos State Government to enhance food security in the state. And it is not just limiting to rice cultivation alone. The government has no business in doing business. But the government of KB State has decided to invest in the business that brings in the most job. But when people are active and are working, they will be less troubled. And they will be, you know, the devil will not take advantage of them and use them for negative uh, things. With the current restructuring in the agricultural sector in the last three years, over 80 billion naira was given to 500,000 farmers across the country. This disbursement provided 5,000 direct and 1.5 million indirect jobs. We are training the staff across, uh, you know, all segments, you know, in the organization to bring them off, you know, to the level of, uh, you know, competition to understand what agri-finance is and then how to support, you know, the farmer to get there. The award, which was presented to executive officers of Dangote, the Central Bank of Nigeria, Smeden, Bank of Industry and NNPC, among others, is due to their strategic planning and partnership in the agri-business. The 15th chapter book captured how Governor Bagudu led administration distinguish itself in the agricultural sector as well as attaining high level of food sufficiency in KB State in a short time and how it can be replicated by other states to achieve the present administration's agricultural drive. Hamman Jabani, NTA News. And we're done with Nationwide today. Thanks for being a part of it. I am Briss Aguele. Bye.